Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Swarm Gaming. Now, I've been doing a lot of thinking about my channel. I've been doing a lot of thinking about my channel. Because there's several things that I want to do that separates me from the uh, big players. Like Hoops the Bee and Fanix and other individuals who uh, really have video editing software and are able to maybe get in touch with um, the people who design the game and just are able to get kind of like the scoop on like what's going on. These individuals have been playing the game since maybe the beginning. They're able to do things that I'm not able to. Now the difference is I've been playing the game more recently since the summertime I had a beginning account that didn't go anywhere, so then I thought, you know, I'm going to do the game in a more efficient way. And that's what I did with Beast Swarm Master 1. And as you can t tell with that account, I was able to work my way up into the better backpack, the pedal wand, and eventually I got what most people want, which is Windy Bee. I worked very hard. Those individuals who were my first friends and actually were there when I got Windy B saw that everything paid off. You know, if you became my friend afterwards and you saw my main account, you might be thinking, you know, this is just another good player. That's actually not true. If you saw what I had and then you saw what I have now, you actually got to see all the hard work. Which is why I started this noob account where it started off okay. You know, it started off okay. It didn't start off as okay as some of my other friends, but it started off better than most noob accounts. So it was still a noob account, which is why I call it a noob account because it, it had the honey dipper and it had the honey pack. And even though some bees were gifted by a pay to play p player, it could not be considered a great account. You know, there was not farming going on. There was not the great guards. There was a lot of work going on. So it made me think that some individuals may need that little extra boost to help them out. For instance, they were able to get Vicious Bee. But in fighting the mods, they're not able to get... The vicious bee tokens and the cubby is very helpful in those instances in getting the tokens if you're on like the other side of the field and if you're fighting the mod for a long time like let's say you're afk you're away from the keyboard and a token pops up you're in the middle of the field cubby will go get the uh token and take away thousands of hit points, right? If you're in Coconut and you're constantly running around, Cubby will hit the token link. And if we're just talking about the Vicious Bee, we'll help you out like in that aspect. So Cubby is not just about getting and giving treats. Now, if you're at the point where you're still doing Mother Bear and you need to get a lot of treats, just over time, over time, Cubby Bear is going to give you the amount of trees that you need. There's really nothing bad about Cubby Bear. There's nothing that Cubby Bear is going to do that is going to slow down your game. And actually, recently, I think with an update that Ana did, I'm getting a lot of good prizes every once in a while. I mean, I'm talking like enzymes, oils, and even tropical drinks. In fact, the tropical drinks that I got most were from defeating Krabby, because I beat him twice, but also from Cubby, too. So, having Cubby is a very good thing. Now, some people may say, well, I can't afford the 600 Robux. So, it got me thinking and saying, that's not really fair for individuals who like this game, but can't afford the Robux. And I want this game to be fair to everybody if I can do it, but I'm not just going to give away Robux to everybody who wants it, you know, because 
there's some individuals that may play and then they may stop, get the Robux, and they may play again. I know people personally that do that. Not just this account, but people who like the game ask for Robux all the time. And I think they're going to get the Robux, they're going to get the eggs, or they're going to get the passes, or they're going to get Cubby, and then things are going to stop. Now, the real free-to-play players, they know that tickets come out all the time. They can save up for Cubby. That's 2,000 tickets. And they will get 2,000 tickets because they save up for Star Treats. So just imagine if they just keep saving up and it's instead of getting two Star Treats, they save up for Cubby. You know, that's just kind of like how it works, right? You kill... um the snail a couple times uh, a week that could be a minimum of a hundred tickets you go around and you kill uh, king beetle you kill tunnel bear you can get 10 or more tickets you do honey storms i mean so things do add up to where you can actually get cubby which is 2000 tickets now however robux can give you tickets faster robux can get you cubby faster so i started thinking you know what am i doing what am i getting up to that could be fun well i'm getting a mythic egg sometime soon you know i want people to watch my videos i think people watching my videos can get help i'm getting some viewers not a lot and i thought you know what can i do to help viewers out as well as give them something and raffles are always fun so i thought you know what if i can get if i can get let's say a good raffle is like 200 200 uh people making a comment right so you have 200 people making a comment on which mythic b i'm going to get so you can have as many viewers as possible i'm not going to put like a limit on that but you make a comment on which mythic b i'm going to get right now it has to be 200 different people because you can't have 200 comments of the same person and then randomly i will choose a person now i have to put a timeline right B because if i don't then it really doesn't make any sense so i'm going to have a timeline um i don't really know i'm i'm actually going to have to see when the comments start coming in because maybe people won't now every once in a while i am going to put a uh a chat message out there i'm going to have to do it on public servers as well as saying like free robux and see if, if people believe me because I don't have 200 friends, and even if I did, I don't think all 200 friends actually watch my videos and would, would make a comment. Because uh, I've actually heard people say, well, this is just like another scam. I don't know how giving away Robux would be a scam, um, but I, I guess some people think it is. Anyway, that's how it is. I'm on the Mythic Bear quest. The next two are going to be quite hard. And I'm not going to run through them as fast as I can before I finish up the last quest. Uh, I'm going to try to promote this uh, guess which Mythic B I'm going to get. Now, right now, I have two tadpoles, I have a fuzzy, and I have a spicy. Now, just a quick note I believe that the uh, AI. Or, or what the uh, computer's brain is, likes to balance things out. You know, likes to give you like all four. I remember that I was uh, thinking I had all three, and I'm like, all right, I don't want the Vector B. And I got the Vector B. So chances are, I think I'm probably going to get the Vector B. That's just a tip. I got two Tadpole Bs. I didn't think I was going to get the second Tadpole B, but I did. So it's possible that maybe this is saying, hey, let's go the Tadpole B route. Uh, if that's the case, maybe I'll get like another Fuzzy B. So r really what I'm basically saying is four Bs, that's a 25% chance. 
I think that's pretty good. So if you come across this video, watch the video, and all you got to do is just make a comment. All right, so take care, guys. This is probably your best chance to get a uh, to get Robux, and let's set the Robux to at least a Cubby B, at least a Cubby B. I don't know how much that amount is, but I will send a Robux gift card out so you can get a Cubby B. If you have a Cubby B, maybe put that like in comments too, because let's make it so the gift card is worthwhile all right so take care bye